Well, bet on me. You are 40 years old if a day, and you don't belong in the ring with Cassius Clay. No, I shouldn't because it'd be a disgrace to see the people, let the people see me kill you like I am. The odds should be three and a half to one that you won't show up for the fight. The odds should be ten to nothing that you don't last for the first round. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Cassius Marcellus Clay. He's young. He's handsome. They know it. He's a poet, a prophet, and many people believe he'll be the next heavyweight champion of the world. Cassius, can I ask you how you're feeling now at this point in your I'm training? feeling great. I'm ready to go to war right now. Well, when you say you're ready to go to war right if now... I see that bear on the street, I beat him before the fight. You'd actually take him on before the fight? Beat him like I'm his daddy. I saw Sonny listen a few days ago, Cassius. Ain't he ugly? <laughs> he's... he's too ugly to be the world's champ. The world's champ should be pretty like me. Well, he told me to bet my life that you wouldn't go three rounds. Well, if you want to lose your money, then bet on Sunday. Oh, uh, may I ask you Because this? I'll never lose a fight. It's impossible. Tell him. It's impossible. Never lost a beat. fight in your life. That's any of my fans when the last time they lost. I'm too fast. Champion from I'm the, the crib. I'm the king. Born to town. Born to champ from the crib. Ah! I'm not only a fighter. I'm a poet. I'm a prophet. I'm the resurrector. I'm the savior of the boxing world. If it wasn't for me, the game would be dead. What percentage of the fans who are coming to see you fight Sonny Liston, what percentage of the fans do you feel will be coming to see him, and what percentage do you feel will be coming to see you? Well, 100% will be coming to see me, but 99% will be coming to see me get beat. Do you really feel that Because they think I talk too much. But well, I got these. And they represent your thinking? These represent dynamite. <laughs> there you are. <laughs> An unheard of thing happened at the Main Street Gym in Miami. Challenger Cassius invaded while Liston was training. Clay's bravado was never more evident, but Liston was not an appreciative audience. Sonny had to be restrained to protect Clay, supposedly. My New Year's revolution is to knock out that big ugly bear shake up the whole world in 1964 and talk no more. Now, will you please do us one favor and wish, uh, look right into the camera and wish Sonny Liston a very, very happy new year. Yeah, I wish him a happy new year because he's going to need happiness after I annihilate him because he's going to be, I'm going to beat him so bad, he's going to think he robbed the bank. And I'm getting tired of talking. Is this going to call for a new contract uh, signing? I don't know what it's going to call. I'm just ready to fight, and I'm glad to be here with all these big mouth people here in Miami talking about I talk too much, and this one's going to whoop me. Well, I want all of them to be there, and I'm going to shut up all of his mouth. For those of you who won't be able to see the Clay Liston fight, here's the eighth round exactly as it will happen. He was writing doggerel and writing poetry to promote his fights. Some of the poems were pretty dreadful, but it didn't make any difference. He had fun doing it. Everything you talked to him about was fun. Clay comes out to meet Liston, and Liston starts to retreat. If Liston goes back in his father, he'll end up in the ringside seat. Clay swings with his left. Clay swings with his right. Look at young Cassius carry the fight. Liston keeps backing, but there's not enough room. It's a matter of time. And Clay loves the moon. Now Liston disappears from view. The crowd is getting frantic. But our radar stations have picked him up. He is somewhere over the Atlantic. Listen to Seal rising, and the ref runs a frown, but he can't start counting till Sonny comes down. Who would have thought when they came to the fight that they had witnessed the launching of a human satellite? Yes, the crowd did not dream when they put down their money that they would see a total eclipse of the Sunny. February 25th, 1964, Cassius Clay boasted that Sonny Liston would fall in eight. The challenger was hysterical at the weigh-in, and doctors recorded Clay's pulse at double his normal rate. Amidst a rash of death threats because of his association with Muslims, Clay set out to claim the heavyweight championship. Meet at the weigh-in, and here comes Ali, jumping and screaming and hollering with Badini Brown and young blood and... Dundee and everybody float like a butterfly, sting like a bee. And he's jumping up and down, and they're taking blood tests of him, and they concur that all the doctors that his blood pressure's off the wall. 
that he's going to, uh, he's scared, he's going to pull out of the fight. Papers started covering it that way. Man, I'm, I don't get hit. I'm the fastest thing on two feet, man. Are you crazy? I'm tired of right, talking. Listen, the champion just made an offer. $100 around the spar with him. 